Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how you can easily explain your Tableau or Power BI projects in the interviews. Stay with me till the end. This video is going to be very beneficial for those who are struggling to explain their project as well as for those who are giving the interview based on the fake experience. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can start your project explanation and where you can end. And at the end, I'm going to show you a sample project exploration as well. Okay, so stay with me. Now let's start with step first. So you should start with your company and your project introduction. Okay, always give a one line or two line about your company and about your domain and then give a summary about your project. What is the purpose of your project and what's the impact you are making by creating the dashboard. Okay, give one liner or two liner based on that as well. Okay. The next is problem statement. So what kind of problem you are solving by creating the dashboard or what kind of issues you were facing there so that you are achieving based on your dashboard. Okay. And what kind of situation you are highlighting and uh, what kind of challenges you have faced by creating that so you can make a story around it and you can explain it under problem statement okay and the next is your role contribution and your workflow let's say you are working as a manager you are or you are working as a team lead or you are working as an analyst or you can say consultant or maybe you are working as a solo contributor okay always mention what is your role in the project and what what your contribution toward the project and what your contributions towards the project okay and then explain your workflow workflow is basically like from gathering the requirement till to publish the dashboard to the production okay how you are gathering the requirement what kind of data sources you are using in that okay and how you are cleaning the data sources what kind of charts you are using okay and what kind of calculation you are creating what kind of logics are you using in your dashboard how you documenting all these things and how you send it to the user for the approval how you publish the dashboard to the production so you should make you should know the workflow of the dashboard and explain it to your interviewer okay now next is discuss about your team structure team structure is basically how many bi developers you you are there in your team and how many data engineers are there how you are collaborating with each others to gather the requirement or maybe about your data issues and all kind of things so you you should always explain this as well okay so we have discussed four point one is introduction about your company and project second one is about your problem statement third one is about your role and contribution and your workflow and fourth one is team structure okay so this is a sample project explanation that i have prepared all of you guys you can refer it and modify it or you can use it as it is as well that is totally up to you now let's discuss it so i work with abc company with you can replace ABC with your current company. Okay, a leading organization in in the finance, retail, or healthcare. I have mentioned some of the domain you can use uh, in which domain you are working. Okay, specializing in investment, medicine, or supp and supply chain management. You can add your specialization of of your company. Okay, it could be investment, maybe maybe sales, or it it could be others as well. Okay. So till now we have discussed about company now move to our project so my current project focus on sales and the project management across various department okay so now here we have discussed about our project okay so this is our project statement. so client was facing issue to manage their product with sales as they have many product in different region so we proposed a solution to combine all of the product together into a single dashboard based on every reason to find their sales and profit so this is a very generic project problem statement i have given with their solution so you can modify it according to your project and add it by using chat gpt or you can use google as well okay we use sql server snowflake as our primary data sources you can mention whatever you are using in project it could be azure it could be aws as well okay so till now we have discussed about company 
its introduction its domain and and project okay and about the problem statement with their data sources so till now we have discussed this now we'll discuss about roles and responsibilities and about their workflow so my role primarily involves data cleaning and visualizations so here i'm mentioning i'm doing data cleaning as well as data visualization there there are some projects where the people works only on the data visualization side so you can remove this data cleaning part and just add data visualization okay overseeing the entire process from start to finish so you are mentioning like you are working from start to finish okay i began by gathering requirement and creating a detailed proof of concept proof of concept is basically a document which contains all the elements that i'm plan to include in my reports or in my dashboard and how i'm going to do it so okay next i'll create a extract from the sources perform transformation transformation is basically let's say there is a huge data source and i just need a uh, only five columns out of 10 so what i'll do is i'll drop the those five which are not needed and just load only those five columns into the tab view okay and then i create calculated field so let's say i'm using i'm showing mom mom is basically month over month and yoy is year over year growth so i create calculated field for these calculations and use the charts to analyze the data and group them into a dashboard okay so in this part we have discussed about my roles what i do and what the workflow i follow so you can mention this part into your day to day activity as well okay and then once the dashboard is ready i submit the them into the user acceptance testing as this is an iterative process iterative process is basically once you send the dashboard to the user and if user wants to add some some data or you want to want to add some extra informative or want some extra charts or maybe he he or she wants to uh, change the format of the report so uh, so he or she will share an email with their feedbacks and as a bi developer we in incorporate those changes okay and this process we we follow this process until we get the final approval so once we get the final approval that is uat approval then the dashboard will produce from uat to the production okay so this is how the whole cycle works and then you can get some of the name of your kpi so we we utilize some kpis or but one thing to mention here is so always give the name of the kpis that are related to your domain that you mention in your project, in the starting of your project explains okay so you can search about the kpis on the google this is for the person who are doing the bluff interview in the interviews but the person who is already working on the project they know like what kind of kpis they are using in your projects okay then you can mention about your team size our team consists of n bi developers so let's say i'm working with a two more bi developers so we i can mention like our team consists of three bi developer working closely with maybe five data engineers to ensure successful of the delivery project okay sometimes you need to uh, provide the details like what kind of work data engineer do and what kind of work you are doing okay how you are collaborating with each other so you can provide a few liner based on this as well so i have given this is a sample project project explanation how you how you can explain about your project okay feel free to modify it and if you want to add something here please let me know in the comment section what's your thought on that that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos